Hey guys, it's Nurse Mike here from SimpleNursing.com. Today we're reviewing anxiety medications. We're talking benzos, barbiturates, and buspirone, all made easy for the NCLEX. So for all my members, be sure to grab these Psych Farm study guides and let's calm those tense nerves. Now, anxiolytics given for anxiety and seizures. Guys, we have benzodiazepines, barbiturates, and buspirone. Now, the key point here is that benzos and barbs are the dangerous ones since they're sedatives, making the vitals low and slow. And buspirone does not sedate. So think you can still drive the bus in buspirone or busperone. Now, first up is benzodiazepines ending in lamb and pam, like alprazolam and temazepam. The good news is that it acts fast within minutes. But the bad news here is that it's highly addictive and hard to come off. So guys, they're not safe for long-term use. So the memory trick is just think Benzos is like driving a Mercedes Benz with two crazy chicas, Pam and Lamb. Guys, we're talking living life in the fast lane, doing all the things mama told you not to do. So guys, it's highly addictive and it's a very dangerous lifestyle. Again, these are given for anxiety and seizures, but also for alcohol withdrawal and sedation like a medically induced coma for brain swelling. Now the mechanism of action is pretty simple. It increases GABA, which decreases activity of neurons. So we just think that grandma is GABA, or we call GABA our grandma. It keeps everyone calm and relaxed, kind of like reading you a bedtime story. So it's very sedating. If you want more GABA, we get more sedation. So guys, the biggest side effect here is the big sedation. Everything is low and slow. So the memory trick is that benzos bring everything low. So in the heart, we get a low heart rate and blood pressure. In the lungs, we get low respiratory rate, leading to deadly respiratory depression. And in the brain, we have sedation. So guys, the big patient teaching is sedation, sleepiness, and the suppression of ABCs. So big key points to write down. We take at bedtime and you don't skip doses. Guys, those are two big NCLEX tips coming up in multiple sections. Now sedation effects and rebound anxiety are the big dangers here. So we keep taking even when the patient is feeling okay. And we always taper off and never abruptly or suddenly stop. And the next topic here is stop drinking alcohol, including wine, which is always a big topic on exams, since it can cause more sedation. And the obvious one here is don't operate dangerous machines. Now the antidote to benzos is, write this down, flumazenil. And the antidote to opioids is naloxone, brand name Narcan. Now a few quiz banks, including the ATI and the HESI, touched on respiratory arrest using this antidote. Guys, so make sure to write this down and don't get tricked between these two. Get a full breakdown of what you need to pass the NCLEX with our NCLEX Review Lecture Series and live cram sessions, led by myself and industry experts. Next up are barbiturates, ending in barbitol like phenobarbital. Now the good news is it lasts longer in the body, usually three to five days. And the bad news is it takes longer to get out of the body. So we have higher risk for toxicity, leading to hypotension and respiratory depression, and then ultimately death. Now a common HESI question is a scenario of a patient on phenobarbital with low blood pressure and increased sedation. Guys, this is huge priority. Always assess this patient first. So to help you remember this, the memory trick is bar for barbiturates, or bar like barbital. Just think of a bar. So you went to the bar and now you're sedated and sleepy. And now you're probably locked behind bars like a prison since they last a long time. So just think bar is large lasting, very toxic sedation and high death rates. Now buspirone, we call busperone since our memory trick is like riding the bus since it's slow and really easy to quit. Now guys, it's not sedating, so you can still drive the bus of buspirone. Now it's an atypical anxiolytic, and the good news is there's no depressant effects. But the bad news is that the bus is slow, and guys, it takes a long time to kick in. So the key point to know for the exam is two to four weeks for full effect, 
And the good thing here is no withdrawal symptoms. Guys, that's usually a common mistake on NCLEX exams as well as HESI. So the good news here, not addictive, no dependence, no tolerance, and no sedation with, again, no withdrawal symptoms. So it's safe for long-term use, again, like riding the bus, slow and easy to quit. Now for patient teaching, yes, driving is okay. Guys, no sedation so you can still drive the bus. And again, it's not for acute attacks, usually taken on a regular basis, not as needed. Now pulling from our Simple Nursing NCLEX question bank, written by the people that actually wrote the NCLEX. Here are the top missed test questions. Question number one, patient teaching for diazepam. Select all that apply. Guys, remember Pam and Lamb is like living the fast, dangerous life. Everything's very sedated. So number one, avoid valerian root. Yes, guys, valerian is like Valium. Have to avoid too much sedation. Number two, avoid ginkgo and ginseng. No, 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 no. Those are for usually bleeding problems. So that's fine. Number three, avoid muscle relaxants. Yes, a sedative, got to avoid that. Number four, report history of reaction to midazolam. Yes, guys, Pam and lamb, any cross reactions usually means an interaction of allergies. And number five, naloxone is the antidote for this med. No, guys, that's the opioid antidote. And number six, decrease alcohol consumption. Guys, no, we're not limiting or decreasing. We're avoiding it all together when taking a dose of this medication. Now, question number two here, a client on phenobarbital, which of the following should the nurse do? Select all that apply. So number one, monitor for hypertension. No guys, we're monitoring for hypotension, that low and slow. Number two, assess for respiratory depression. Yes guys, low and slow respirations. Big one right there. Number three, assess for low blood pressure. Yes, for sure. Number four, Teach the patient there is no withdrawal symptoms. Guys, no, not for phenobarbital. That's for buspirone. And number five, teach sedation is an early side effect. Yes, guys, barbital. It's like you went to the bar and now you're very sleepy and sedated. Thanks for watching. Did you know you can unlock beautifully handcrafted study guides packed with key points and memory tricks from all our videos? Plus, you'll get access to over 1,200 exclusive videos not on YouTube, all neatly organized by Nursing School Topic to make that complex nursing knowledge actually stick. You'll also gain thousands of practice questions written by current professors and actual NCLEX writers. So for access to all this and more, click right up here or visit simplenursing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy studying, and we'll see you in the next videos.